necessary gas molecules to be distributed across more possible energy levels. Gas molecules have more ways to move um, than the same molecules in the liquid state. Therefore, a salt where the cation is Good morning. It is Saturday. I am hopefully going to a Pilates class really soon. I take my period this morning and I have terrible cramps, so the desire to work out is like this much. But I'm gonna push myself because I've noticed that like when I do work out, my cramps are better, I feel better, overall in a better mood. I'm also, yesterday was the first time I did any kind of like strength training in several weeks. And I'm definitely sore from Pilates like it can actually be like a really good workout and doing like weighted lunges and stuff uh, my legs are feeling it so yeah I wish I could record but it's a class so I can't really record I also might try to do some yoga today so I'll do that at home yoga with Adrian is amazing if you like yoga and don't want to go to like a yoga class her channel is amazing but yeah all I've had so far is some coffee for breakfast and a little bit of chocolate that I got for Christmas. Gonna make like a proper like brunch when I get back home. I just uh, just finished Pilates. Got Nate with me, What's driving. Up? Thank you, Nate, for driving with me. Um, we're returning a mouse at an Amazon Dropbox and gonna get breakfast because both of us haven't had breakfast. So that's the plan might check out i really want to try these like nike swift shorts that, like that i see on tiktok all these girls running in that they say that they love and it looks really they look really cute so hopefully gonna try those on um yeah pilates was good it was a lot of core i felt good because i feel like i haven't lost much strength despite not working on much in the last two weeks overall feeling pretty good definitely legs are sore glutes are sore um that's about it. I had to share this. So like, I did not know. I don't, I mean like obviously this probably exists, but like I've used um, a USB-C adapter and just like always imported any camera footage onto my laptop. And then on TikTok, I found they have USB-C to SD card readers, which I don't know for me maybe it's being a millennial but like this is the biggest thing ever like the fact that you can just take camera photos i mean other than like using a canon app or something like that's kind of like i've always generally had canon cameras um but the fact that i can just put these like put it in my phone have my card right here go into my photos and get to import footage is just like to get to do this immediately is just amazing to me. I just think that's the coolest thing. So that is, those are the photos on here. All my memory cards are full because I only have like these 32 gigs that I've had for a long time and a 64 gig and um, like one 128 gig. And if you're doing vlogs, it's just not good enough. I think these are photos I took in San Francisco. There's not much on here. I don't know how this card is full. Maybe it's just videos. I don't know. Anyway, the coolest thing ever. And I also have, for my mouse, I had to get a USB-C to USB because it has a dongle. Yeah, fun little tech stuff. I just, I don't know, being able to do it just like immediately from your phone, like it's, it's faster than even airdropping. I am really, I love right. it. It is um, Tuesday, January 10th, and I am recording this at like lunchtime. I uh, went to a Pilates class this morning and I'm still feeling pretty congested so I was gonna go for a run and I don't think I'm going to because honestly I think I need to do a little bit of rest. Um, my classes start tomorrow. But I was so hungry heading back that I ordered some Thai food so some spring rolls and I have some chicken pad thai and I'm gonna have that for lunch. This I didn't have breakfast this morning uh, no, I had a little bit of granola. I had a little bit of granola and coffee. I think t 
tomorrow I might go for a run in the morning if not I'll go after classes but I'm feeling all right I think I just keep pushing myself when I'm like still really congested but I also like don't feel great when I don't work out so it's like a toss-up it's like I don't know my, I'm, I'm trying to listen to my body but my body is giving me mixed signals because like when I try to rest I actually kind of feel worse and um, not in like not doing anything and not being maybe I just need to go like on walks and not like do as strenuous exercise but I've had this cold for like two weeks now and it's just kind of not going away I went to see like a, a nurse practitioner at like a you know CVS minute clinic and she just said like it's due to having COVID about a month ago and then your body's still recovering from it so being predisposed to having kind of any kind of respiratory infection anyway i'm gonna finish this food and then prepare for my classes tomorrow so good morning i just went to my um, first lecture of the semester and now i got some breakfast after class but i'm gonna go to a pilates class today just like a intermediate class and that's really all to update feeling a little better definitely like more energy than i felt yesterday which is good. I think it was really just due to sleep. I think getting good quality sleep helps so much with recovery for training and in general. Yeah, just wanted to give you an update in my car, going through some stuff on my iPad. For anyone in school, the iPad is a game changer. I was like really hesitant to get one, but it makes things so much easier. I don't have to carry like my textbook. I have my entire textbook literally downloaded. I can take notes on it and read it. It's amazing. So yeah, that's what I would advise for anyone that's in school this year high school or college i think it's great i'll let you know how the class goes just want to record really quick i got out of my class and it was really hard lots of core and everything but it was good it was good i'm very All tired right. um we are making dinner now um we're making sun-dried tomato spaghetti with hello fresh um it looks amazing tomatoes, little tomatoes, roasting almonds, and cooking spaghetti. Let me see. Are you recording right now? I don't think, oh I mean, you are. It, these, are, these are like wet, like they're not sun, they're not like super dry. I feel like it could be a little finer bit. Just like a little bit. I, I know it's a pain. So you don't have to. You don't have to. But. If I were you, I would do it. If you were me, you would do it. Why don't you do it? Then? It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. All right, we have dinner. You're gonna say what's in it? You can say what's in it. Spaghetti. No, no, no. Tomatoes. Okay. Chicken. Is that it? Parsley. Garlic. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Garlic. It's really good. Cream cheese. It's so good. Oh my god. All right, hey, I just wanted to give a quick update because I haven't like vlogged in a little bit. I just had classes this morning and they went fine. Um, and then I worked out, but I'm still like having this. I, I did have a sinus infection, or at least that's what the NP said that I saw. She gave me antibiotics. I took the antibiotics. I finished them today. Still have like the really bad mucus really bad like facial pressure and like drainage um, So going to my primary care doctor tomorrow to figure that out, but It's been really hard to like work out like I did Pilates this morning. You can just feel like all the fluid just Causing so much like pressure and it's really painful. So hopefully I can figure out what it is But it's definitely contributed to me not running recently, which is which sucks But I'm just not in the greatest like physical state to do intensive cardio right now. So Anyway about to have lunch um, And then study for the rest of the afternoon Degenerate. <laughs> um, 
Wait out front in Denver. Out with the plane. Yeah. Fields meeting us tomorrow. I'm I'm reading through a. Uh, I got, I got free health advising newsletter. I got an email yesterday or today about your uh, lesson. Everything you need to know oh, about. Oh, can it, can you forward that to me? Yeah, I just remembered. This, I was just thinking that. Thank you. Uh oh. What's that? Landlord email. About what? Oh, uh, I'm not gonna look. No, let's look at it right now. I'm too scared. Please. No, no I'm too scared. Let's. Pulling up. Let's yeah, I just want to circle back. Then yeah, forward that to me. All right, I'll forward it to you. All right, bye. <laughs> Um, well, it's 8, 8.30, but we... 10 for us. <laughs> 10, yeah, it's 10.30 for us. Um, we successfully got the rental car. What is it? It's like a Buick? Big, a big ass Buick. Huge <laughs> Buick. There's like... Like eight seats in this car <laughs> that are all down to fit our snowboard and we, we luggage. We didn't get this one on purpose. No, no, they gave this one to us. Um, yeah, there was they, nothing smaller. They ran out of cars. They ran out of cars. It's literally empty. We're, we're pulling out of the lot. And yeah, we're in Denver. I'm definitely, I'm definitely experiencing the altitude sickness or at least like some of it. I have like a really bad headache and I've been drinking so much water and it's still just brutal. I've never been to Colorado before. So I think I've never been at this high altitude. It's all new for me. Yeah, we're gonna get food and then check into our hotel. Yeah, excited. Mm -hmm. You got this one, right? I think so. Right. We're getting out. We're getting out. Like that's green. It's green, yeah. All right. First morning in Denver. We just woke up. Um, kind of. We woke up early. At least I did. We woke up at like six. I woke up. Uh, I had to run and go get crap coffee. Um, Tell them about your experience. Well, Margaret wanted uh, lotion, and the hotel didn't have lotion in our hotel room. So, what I did is I went to Walgreens last night, and it was closed. So I was up until 10. Got there at 9.30, it was closed. <laughs> There's still people in there, like the workers, but they didn't let me in. So then, I go this morning, because it said it was open at 7. And uh, on the front door and, and online it says yeah, it's online open. Says open. Yeah, so I go there and there's people waiting up front. I'm like, this is a bad sign. And so I yeah, walk up. People waiting up front, it's close. <laughs> exactly, but you know, one can hope. So I go up there, I start talking, I ch chat up with these ladies. Uh, and this one lady was very nice. Uh, she, you know, she was talking about how, like, you know, this is her day off, she needs to get stuff done. And, like, you know, she's coming to Walgreens, they pick up her prescriptions and stuff like that. They won't let her in. They saw, she saw, she had saw someone actually go in earlier and she said, I think, she said, she thought it was a worker. Work right, but, I mean, look, I, I don't know, like. I used to, I worked at a CVS, okay? I know what it's like. It's very, it's a difficult job, honestly. I'm not saying it's a difficult job. I never said it's not difficult. I'm just saying, if, if it says it's open at 7, be open at 7, right? Don't like have this. The thing. hours probably fluctuate because of the staff. Like I, what what I noticed too is, um, what like when we went went to get our rental car, the guy was like there was only one person at the front desk because people called out like sick and like canceled. Because these are all minimum wage jobs, so the hours like it's just a mess if you can't have a hired like staff that's like there all the time. Right, I understand. It just yeah, I like at least have someone like come to the door maybe and say like hey like. Right, yeah, right, we're right. on the staff. We can't. We can't open yet. Right, like we're waiting for it's someone to come in. It's easier to just keep it locked. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. Tell just... us about your the ladies. Though. All right. So I'm with this lady, and we start. She she starts like banging on the door, and then asks me, and she's like, she's like, oh, you try banging on the door. They might they might let a white boy in. I'm like, all right, two, true, true. So I start banging on the door and knocking. Uh, no one comes. It doesn't help. But then there's another lady who is homeless. It seemed like, um, and she, because she had asked me for money earlier, uh, until I, I didn't have any. But then 
as we're standing there, she just whips out like one of those little bottles of Jack Daniels and chugs that, tosses it out, and I'm just like, and then pulls out a cigarette. I'm just like, well, man, this is, it's 7.30 in the morning. It's pretty early to be doing that, to be honest. <laughs> this one just come off. <laughs> it was, I was like, I can't imagine drinking it right now, but uh, uh, then I, I just left, went to Starbucks and got coffee because I was like, that is not, it's not really a good, good chance that this is going to open. But we're in Denver now. Yeah. We're gonna pick it's up. Nice. We're gonna pick up the field. Pick up fielding. Um, he he like lands soon. Um, I'm excited to go and get to Vail today. So I want to show them the view. It's not a great view. It's so flat. Here you, you can do this. It'll autofocus if you hold on to that without pressing. There you go. Oh, interesting. So we're right near the uh, UC Health University nice. College Hospital. 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 Right, this is not like the nicest part of town. Uh, but if you look really closely, you can see there's mountains out that way. Um, so we're kind of in like Aurora, close to the airport. So like 15 minutes from the airport because we had to go pick up fielding. Um, so yeah, it's nice. But this is nice, this, this little strip right here. People were drag racing all night along this. You could hear them while we were trying to sleep. Margaret really doesn't like that, but I don't mind the, the noise. I'm used to it, so we're still. We're still just trying to pack it up, getting ready to go. Uh, but so far, still feeling pretty good. I had no altitude sickness yet for either of us. We got a little bit of a headache last night. Uh, I've been pretty good. Just trying to drink lots of water, making sure we stay hydrated. Um, but the real test will be once we get up into the mountains. That's when it's probably going to hit us pretty hard. So just got to make sure we're drinking water when we can. Not too much coffee. That'll dehydrate us. Uh, just enough to keep us awake, really. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It is Thursday, March 30th. I just got back from lab, but it was a weird lab where I just, they split the trials into the two different groups that were near each other. So um, I still have to put in their data. And I also haven't eaten today yet, and it is 2.30, so I'm a little hangry. Uh, I, I did not have time to make anything, so I got some Thai food. I'm gonna have that. I haven't vlogged the last few weeks because I've been really stressed with school, as usual. But like more stressed than even before. I got some spring rolls. This is from a place down the street from where we are. Oh, heck yeah. Um, I think this is like fish sauce-ish. And then some crispy spring rolls. I love spring rolls, even though they're fried, they're so good. I got some chicken pad thai, um, which is my favorite thing ever. When I'm feeling down, pad thai, all I need to cheer me up. But I was gonna say like this week, um, I the race I signed up for, my first race ever, my 5K, is this Saturday in the morning and I have been running consistently like if you can check my Strava um, I've been running with Nate and I don't hate it anymore so that's a, I think that's a win I don't love it but I don't hate it like I used to freak out my heart rate would shoot up just knowing that I had to run even before starting and now it's like I can ease into it and it's not this like big deal like, okay, yeah, if, if I have a nine minute mile, like that's fine. But, but before it, like, it was like, oh, if I can't do a seven minute mile, I'm horrible. And I would just like sprint and I couldn't, couldn't keep up that pace for more than a mile. So now I'm trying to just kind of relax. But even when monitoring my heart rate, it just goes into zone five. And I think maybe that's partly anxiety, but also being unfit. But I will say my VO2 max, just from running for these last few weeks has gone from a 35 to a 37 on my Garmin, that's what it says, which is like, I've never, seen, it's the highest it's been since I've had that watch for the last two years. So I will say like, if you want to improve your VO2 max, like run, 
because doing weight training in the gym and doing Pilates never gave me that result. It wasn't until doing cardio, like genuine true cardio that that's improved. So that's like really exciting for me. And I have yet to experience the runner's high despite running three miles. So I guess maybe I need to run more than three miles, but I do feel like I'm in a, I'm more relaxed, but I just feel, feel that way whenever I work out, regardless of what kind of method of working out I, I choose. I'm gonna eat this pad thai. And yeah, with school, I have a month left of school until my finals, and then I'm taking physics over the summer. I'm like scared, I'm kind of scared because I tried doing chemistry over the summer and I dropped it after the first two days because I was overwhelmed. It's like lecture from 8 a.m. until like 1.30 nonstop. And then you go in and have lab like right after from like 2 to 5.30. And you have no time to like read, watch videos. Like most, I spend 10 times more time out of class on like material disgusting class. Um, like. The lectures are just really fast so you don't have the time to like because it's a summer class it's accelerated you're doing a month of class in a week it's very hard if you're like not the best at math and science like myself so i'm kind of scared but part of me wants to like do it and be able to say that i did it and be confident in myself as a student for being able to survive physics um when it's accelerated but we'll see like i liked it in ap high like i took ap physics in high school before I hadn't even taken a calculus class and I managed to do well in it. So I'm hoping I'll be okay. This is what I have made. Looks so good. So I need a napkin. Now, now that we're um, discussing things, I guess like I'm at this point where I'm so kind of tired of school right now. I don't know if it's because I have like one more exam before my finals. And I'm kind of burnt out. Mm, I think really good too. So if it's that or if it's like, I'm not doing that great this semester either. And I just find the materials really hard for me for some reason. And I'm, I'm like putting in so much time. And I feel like I'm not doing any better than the people that like, put in no time and like you know what i mean like putting in like t probably more time than most people in the entire course but getting like a below average class grade that's like where i'm at right now and it's just really depressing because i go to office hours i do all the homework i do all like the practice problems that she suggests and i still like i get them get certain parts wrong i try to go and like ask how that how i got it wrong I don't know. I think part of it's just like there's also lack of less support in the chemistry department at Georgetown than there is at the biology department. Um, I had like a, you know, someone had taken the course that I could meet with once a week for free um, to go over stuff I was confused on and like to go over previous exams and like go over stuff I had gotten wrong. And also like weekly review sessions on like everything that was kind of gone over in class that week. And it was all so helpful and there's nothing like that um, with chemistry. And so I think it makes it harder, but um, it's also just, I'm not super interested in the materials. So I think that makes it also harder, um, but I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Um, yeah. So hopefully I'll vlog. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna do a run this afternoon, this evening, and then um, go to the review session uh, before my exam on Monday. But I only have two labs left, so I'm almost done. And then I move on to physics and then or go in the fall. So I'm getting closer 
to finishing my post -bac program and that's a little scary. Think about preparing for the MCAT like this time next year, which sounds far away, but it's really not. Like this past year has flown by for me. And I think just being in school, time flies because you're so busy, you're always doing something. So the weeks go by really fast and you're just like, whoa, what just happened? That's how I've experienced it. It feels similar to when I was back in college, like my experience undergrad. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Um, it's, it's hard. I think what I'm realizing, what I'm experiencing right now is like, oh, I, I now see why I didn't do this when I was an undergrad because these classes aren't super appealing to me and they're very hard and I don't excel at them very easily. They're all like, right now, all we're, we're doing like calculus stuff in, with chemistry. Um, and it's, I'm just like, uh, this is just applied math is how, I mean, it really is. It's not that conceptual compared to like the biology classes are way more conceptual. It's a lot more me just memorization. Um, whereas chemistry is a lot of math. Um, and physics is all calculus. So um, we'll see, but yeah, um, I'm trying to like, just focus on, I, I want to get over these courses to then be in med school and be learning things that I'm actually really interested in. And I think that's that's the challenge because there's a time crunch between when that happens and like now. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm doing my race. Uh, I also signed up for a 8K in May. So doing a 5K, then doing the 8K. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a half marathon. I don't know. I'm not really a runner. Like I don't, I've never been a runner. I had asthma growing up. Uh, couldn't run without having to use an inhaler. So coming from that to this, like, like teenage Margaret would be like shocked at like where I'm at right now. Like I never, if you had told me when I was 18 that I was going to be doing a post back and going to medical school, like I would have not believed you at all. It's just, I, I never considered myself doing anything that was in like the STEM sphere at all. So it's kind of crazy how life changes so much, but I'm, I'm doing okay. <laughs>